Hey there, it's Uncle from TacticalGamer.com. Um, it's a quick tutorial on setting up teleporting within the editor. What you're going to need, first of all, we're going to set up a teleport station at the militarized compound of Fruzabad to go to the mine. Uh, it's a simple demonstration. First, you need your player. So I clicked on units, double clicked on the map, and set up my player. Okay, now we're going to need uh, something to add an action to, which means you walk up to it and an action shows up in your scroll wheel uh, menu to choose that action. Uh, so what I'm going to do is put it in a flagpole. So empty objects and flagpole. Alright, and now what I'm going to do is put the add action uh, call in here. So initialization is this, which means on this flagpole, add action, and we use square brackets for the parameters. Uh, the first parameter is what's going to show up in the text when you use your scroll wheel on it, and it's going to be teleport mine. It can be anything you want. The next thing is the script that it's going to call. We don't have a script yet. I'll show you how we're going to write it. It's going to be, I'll call it telemine.sqf. Close off our brackets. Push off that statement. Okay. Now what we need is a, an object to mark the location that we're going to teleport to. And we need to name it something. So we're going to teleport right here to the gate of the mine so we can see where we came from. Um, what I like to use is the object uh, H invisible, which uh, doesn't show up as anything on the map. I just need to name it. Um, let's say mine. So now in the editor, we have all the elements we need to do a simple teleport from here to there. All right. Uh, before we move on, because this is a new mission, um, I've already set up the mission name so I can see it in my list uh, when I go to select missions. Okay, I've set the time to noon so it looks easy or looks nice. Uh, let me save it as teleport test. All right, now on to our uh, text editor. Okay. Now that we have created uh, a folder by saving the mission, it's in your um, My Documents under your Arma Other Profiles Multiplayer Missions. Okay, and then we see the Teleport Test folder that was created when we saved the, the mission and the editor. So we open that folder and we create a new uh, text file. This is going to be our script. It's called Telemine. Same thing we called it in the editor. Uh, mine SQF. There we go. Now I'm going to edit this in my favorite editor. You can use Notepad or Notepad++, it doesn't matter which. Okay, now we've got Telemine SQF open in the editor. I always just comment uh, the name of the file first thing. First thing we do is we pass a couple of variables from the add action to the script. Um, the first one is the name of the unit that the add action was put on, and the second one is the name of the unit that called the script. So I'm going to make a couple of variables here. Oops. That's the name of the flagpole, and caller is the person unit who called the script. Alright, now we have the line that actually does the teleporting. Um, we're going to say a caller, set position, two, and we need to get the position of the invisible H we called mine one. We're going to add in a hint just to make it slick looking. Player has teleported. 
that is it. Save our file. Now we're going to test it out in the game. Alright, we're back in our editor and we hit our preview. Alright, we walk up to our flagpole. The teleport mine option now shows up in the add action. We hit yes. Boom. We are now at the mine. We're way down there. We're way up here. That is it.